ever wondered how a simple burger stand became a global culinary giant? Dive into the amazing history of McDonald's. It all started in 1937 when Patrick McDonald opened a modest food stand named The Airdrome on the dusty trails of Route 66. This small venture marked the humble beginnings of what was to become a culinary empire. Three years later, in 1940, his sons, Richard and Maurice McDonald, moved the stand to San Bernardino, California, and gave it a new identity, McDonald's Bar BQ. This wasn't just a relocation, it was a rebranding, featuring a 25-item barbecue menu. By 1948, the McDonald brothers made a pivotal shift. They streamlined their operation with the innovative Speedy Service System, focusing almost exclusively on burgers. This marked the birth of a simplified menu that would become iconic. 1952 saw the introduction of the now iconic Golden Arches, designed by architect Stanley Clark Meston. This architectural innovation coincided with the start of franchising, spreading the McDonald's brand further. Then came 1954, a significant year, as milkshake mixer salesman Ray Kroc joined the venture. By 1955, Kroc established McDonald's Systems Inc., setting the framework for a nationwide expansion. From a roadside stand to a budding franchise, the stage was set for McDonald's to revolutionize fast food. As the 60s rolled in, McDonald's was poised for explosive growth. The decade began with a pivotal moment in 1961 when Ray Kroc acquired exclusive rights to the McDonald's brand from the McDonald brothers for $2.7 million, a sum he borrowed from investors. This deal not only changed ownership but also set the stage for the brand's future under Kroc's ambitious vision. Kroc wasted no time in revolutionizing the brand. He introduced the now iconic slashed Golden M logo, a symbol that would become synonymous with fast food globally. In the same vein of innovation, 1961 also saw the founding of Hamburger University in Illinois. This training facility underscored McDonald's commitment to consistent quality and service, principles that were integral to its burgeoning franchise model. The milestones continued to accumulate rapidly. By 1963, McDonald's celebrated the sale of its one billionth hamburger and opened its 500th restaurant in Toledo, Ohio. This period also marked the introduction of the filet o fish the first addition to the original menu, catering to customers seeking a non-meat option during Lent. The mid-60s brought even more excitement. In 1965, the world was introduced to Ronald McDonald in the first television commercial, featuring the character flying on a hamburger. This marketing persona would grow to be a cultural icon and a beloved face of the brand for generations of children and families. The expansion continued in 1967 when McDonald's opened its doors internationally with its first restaurant outside the United States in British Columbia, Canada, and another in the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico. The concept of a standalone McDonald's restaurant, which is commonplace today, was also introduced during this time. In 1968, the Big Mac was added to the menu, becoming an instant classic. That year also marked McDonald's initial support of the Olympics, beginning a long-standing relationship by airlifting hamburgers to homesick U.S. athletes in France. The 60s not only saw McDonald's become a household name in America, but also marked its first steps as a global entity. With growth comes innovation and challenges. As McDonald's burgeoned into a global behemoth, the 1970s brought both opportunities and obstacles. One notable innovation was the introduction of the drive through a brilliant pivot during the oil crisis that kept customers coming despite gas shortages. This drive through model not only catered to the car-centric culture of America, but also set a new standard for fast food convenience worldwide. As the decade progressed, McDonald's continued to diversify its menu. The late 70s saw the introduction of breakfast items, a strategic move that captured the morning crowd. Then came the iconic Happy Meal in 1979, a game changer that brilliantly combined food with child-friendly entertainment, complete with a toy, capturing the family demographic like never before. However, the 1980s weren't without their trials. The fast food landscape was changing. Competition was fiercer than ever with rivals like Burger King and Wendy's vying for market share. Moreover, there was a growing demand for healthier food options. In response, McDonald's experimented with its menu, introducing the McLean Deluxe in the 1990s, an attempt to offer a lower fat burger. Environmental concerns also came to the forefront. Criticisms over waste and unsustainability led to backlash. McDonald's responded with green initiatives, improving their waste management systems, and integrating more environmentally friendly practices into their operations. McDonald's continued to adapt, 
innovate, and expand through each decade, facing each new challenge head-on. Entering the 21st century, McDonald's has not just sold burgers, but also shaped cultures. With the introduction of McAfee in the early 2000s, the Golden Arches boldly stepped into the bustling world of coffee culture. This move wasn't just about adding espresso shots, it was a strategic pivot that placed McDonald's on every morning commuter's map, directly competing with coffee giants and local cafes alike. As we globetrot from one country to another, McDonald's menus adapt like a cultural chameleon. In India, the Makalu Tiki Burger caters to vegetarian tastes, while in Japan, the Ibi Filet O Shrimp Burger reflects local seafood preferences. This culinary adaptability not only respects regional palates, but also weaves McDonald's into the fabric of local cultures. The brand's influence extends beyond the menu, playing a significant role in global events and sponsorships. Whether it's the Olympics or FIFA World Cup, McDonald's has been there, serving up meals and moments, connecting with millions around the world during these universally shared experiences. Technological advancements have also revolutionized the way we interact with McDonald's. Self-service kiosks and mobile app ordering have streamlined the dining experience, making it quicker, easier, and distinctly modern. These innovations reflect a shift towards digital integration in our everyday lives. McDonald's has transcended its role as a fast food chain to become a symbol of global culture, featured in movies, TV shows, and countless other media, becoming as iconic as the characters that inhabit these stories. From a humble burger stand to a global franchise, McDonald's journey is a testament to innovation and perseverance. What began in 1937 as a small roadside stand has burgeoned into an empire with over 37,000 locations across the globe. This transformation did not just alter the landscape of fast food, it reshaped global dining culture itself. McDonald's has evolved beyond merely serving meals. It's become a symbol of American culture, a familiar comfort in foreign lands, and a pioneer in the fast food industry. From introducing the world to the concept of drive throughs to creating iconic menu items like the Big Mac and Happy Meals, McDonald's continuously adapts to the changing tastes and demands of its global customer base. This relentless innovation and adaptation have kept McDonald's at the forefront of the fast food industry, setting trends and standards that others follow. McDonald's story shows how visionary ideas and steadfast dedication can transform a simple concept into a worldwide phenomenon.